morning guys so this is home workout number 28 it's going to be a plyometric workout working on power and explosion and a little bit of a core at the end and we'll stretch this is a follow along workout it's going to last about 60 minutes so my name is Lisa Marie Breton Lebreux I work at Concordia University I'm a strength and conditioning coach for the Concordia Stingers so Guys, we're going to start with the usual breathing exercise, then we'll do some glute activation, we'll do a longer mobility a warm-up, then we'll do some plyometrics, jumping exercises, we'll finish with a little bit of a core, full body, cool down circuit, and then we'll do some stretching. You're going to need today a stick, a chair, and a mat, okay? So here we are, we're going to start with the usual three breathing exercises. The first one, feet on a chair, like here, like I've been doing this for a while now guys, so I'm not going to go through everything again, you breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth, toes up, we're going to take five deep breaths, 90 degree angles, lift, so you have one hand here. Engage your hamstring, contract your core towards you, try to touch the ceiling, breathe in through the nose. Here we go, five deep breaths. In, out. In. Focus on the exhale, two more, in, out, last one, in, out, excellent, now breathing and reaching, so you want to touch the ceiling, Arms straight, touch the floor, open your fingers, okay, three on each side, lift, engage your hamstring, contract your core, okay, I can pass my hand, ready, breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth, reach, in again, out, Reach, 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 both hands. Breathe in. Out. Try to touch the ceiling. Touch in the back. Ready, breathe in. Out. One more each side. In. Out. Breathe in, out, excellent, don't skip the breathing exercise guys, this is important, now with the leg extension, dead bug with leg extension, contract your lower abs, fill the gap here, no space for my hand, breathe in, And again, in, out, in, focus on itself. Contract your lower abs, in, out. One more, in. Last one, in, out, great work, let's stay on the ground now, we'll do some core activation and adduction activation, lying on your side, we did that a few workouts ago, toes up and lift the leg here, 
Okay? 12 reps, here we go. One, two, turn your foot inside. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now, adduction, ABD, toes up, straight leg. One, two, three, four, five. Good work. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12. We'll do three sets of this. Switch sides. Here we go. Straight leg, toes up. One. Turn your foot. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Bring that foot left. Adduction. ADD. One, two, three, four, Five, lift, six, Ready. seven, lift, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Switch sides again. You can just turn around, I'm facing you. Straight leg, one, two, three, four, five. Feel the butt, turn your foot inward slightly. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Bottom leg, one, two, toes up, three, straight leg, four, five, lift, six, seven, eight, higher, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Other side. Straight leg, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. Bottom leg. 1, 2, 3, 4. Keep breathing. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Last set. Really like to work on abduction and adduction. Working on your groin, adductor muscles. Very important, get them stronger. Okay, 12 here. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Bottom leg, one, two, straight leg, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, higher, nine, 10, 11, 12. Good, last time, last side. C'est parti. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Bottom leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. Excellent! Core activation done! Yeah, you can put the mat to the side, put the chair to the side. You won't need it. Okay, now you'll need the stick not too far. We're going to do the mobility circuit. Okay, so first one will be a knee hug. To a balance, whoop, oh boy, stay stiff, quad stretch. Okay, c'est parti, everybody. Knee hug, balance, quad stretch. We'll do five of those. We'll hold a bit longer. A knee hug, and one, two, three. Number two, three, two, three, switch. Maintain your balance. Number four. One, two, three. One. Out of sight. Two. Last one. One, two, three. One, two, and three. Switch sides. Knee hug. Balance straight leg here. Toes up. Quad stretch. Oh boy. That one. 
is necessary. Knee hug. One, two, three. Quad stretch. One, two, three. Working on balance at the same time. Two, three. Quad stretch. One, two, three. Knee hug. One, two, three. Quad stretch. One, two, three. Last one. One, two, three. One, two, and three. Ooh, yes. Next. Still balance. Leg swing forward and back. Toes up. Point your toes. Twelve of those. One, two. You can touch your opposite hand here. Five, six, point, seven, point at the back. Eight, nine, ten, 11, 12, excellent, and again, switch leg, one, whoop, two, three, four, five, point your toes, six, at the back, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, switch leg, lateral, toes in, open, in, open, 12, one, two, whoop, three, Focus, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Very nice. Oh, I feel more stable. That's good. One, oops, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12. Excellent. Now, so both leg swings are done. Grab the stick. Shoulder dislocation. 15. One, five. Ready? And go. One. Three. Three. Four. Abs tight. Don't let the back go like this. Abs tight. Six. Hey, today won't be as cardio as usual because it's a full rest with full intensity. Jumping, all out jumping, full rest. We'll have a little bit of a cool down conditioning core at the end. Not too long. Excellent. Grab the stick on your back. So we'll do the right hand at the top in your neck, left hand in your low back. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna step with the left and back, okay? So, five reps. All three points of contact. Abs tight, three, four, five. Switch everything, low back, neck, left at the top, step with the right leg. X, that's it, stretch. Two, five, three, four, five. Oh, I'll do one more, okay. All right, now we'll switch everything. Right at the top, we're gonna step left side. You guys are ready? Five reps. Keep all three points of contact. Nice and low. Feet parallel. Two. Three. Four. Five. Super. Switch. Left hand on the neck. Step to the right. One. Two. Three. Three. Four. again right on top we're gonna step 45 degrees here foot straight back leg straight here we go one two three four five excellent lunging 45 degrees Okay, other side. Five reps in 
and go. One, two, three, four, five. We I think it's so hot in here. <laughs> Heating up. All right. So we did all of them. Calf stretch, dorsiflexion with stick overhead. So we're gonna go up and lift those toes. Up, lift the toes. Guys, are ready? 15, up, lift the toes. Legs straight, up, lift the toes. Up, breathe. Four, five, six, seven, ass tight. Lift those toes, eight, nine, load those big toes, big toes, more on the big toes, two on the big toes, now two on the outside a bit more, okay, on the outside, good, now straight, one, and again, two, good, I'm done with the stick for now, I'm putting it aside, now, We'll do our multi-leaping. We did that before. So I'm just gonna jump forward and back. Forward and back. Sticking the landing for about one second or so. You absorb with the ball of your foot, toes to heel, full foot to this position. Okay, five and switch and we'll do all kinds. So just follow me. Now forward and back. Mini jumps, still warm up. Five reps and go. One, two, stabilize. Abs tight here. Your hips are square. Don't spill the bowl of soup. Four, five. Excellent. Switch leg. Forward. One. on that backwards. Now we'll land, go forward and back. Focus on landing backwards a little more. So land on the back. Ready, go. Hold it. Good. Push. Good. Three, four, and five. Good work. Other side. One, Just crossing and then 
right here. I'll be right back. Little break. Good. We are live. Now picking up, picking up, sorry, the intensity with a bit of running mechanics, arm swing, as well as getting ready to jump more intensively. So we'll finish our warm up with a high knees, heel to butt combo. But just before, we'll do some arm swing, a switch swing, arm swing. So ready, open your hands, thumb in your back, pen in your back pocket, thumb in your mouth. Let's go 50%. Let's go 20 seconds. Here we go. C'est parti. One, two. Relax your face. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. And 20. Good work. Now we'll do some high knees, heel to butt. With the arm swing. Now we're at 70%, okay? We're just getting the body ready. Hit the ground with the ball of your foot. The heel doesn't touch the ground. You're going back up. You're kicking the butt. Then up, toes are up, not down, okay? 15 each with a good arm swing. Ready? 70% and go. Let's break. Break. Whew. <laughs> the heater is full blast. Today's not easy for breathing. <laughs> okay. Arm swing. 50%. And let's do 10, uh, 15 each. Ready? And start. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Smile. Nine. 12, 13, 14, 15, little break. Because when we jump, some movement will require good arm swings. It's very important to have arm swing for jumping and for running. And as well as skating. When you skate, your arms should be moving here, not here. Okay? So that's why it's all good, so good for many sports. High knees, heel to butt. 85%, so a little bit higher. Ready and go. Elbow five. 15 inch. Right, 20 seconds. A little bit of running mechanics is good for when you do your jogs. It's good to turn on the nervous system. And I want to prepare the body a little bit more because we're going to jump really aggressively in a few minutes. So that's going to get some spring. Spring, spring, spring. <sighs> Arm swing, 75%. If you have shoulder pain, go back to 50. 15 reps, ready and go. Eight, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So it's also plow matrix for the upper body because I'm, when I'm here, my pecs are stretching, bringing this back. When I'm here, my lats are stretching, bringing this back. So we're trying to work on that as well. High knees, heel to butt, 100%, okay? 15 each. Ready, and go.
Let's grab your stick. So we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight different jumping exercises to do. It's a bit more than the previous workouts and in plyometrics. So this is not aerobic plyometrics. This is pure plyometrics where I'm jumping for six to 10 reps maximum and I have a full rest of a minute in between my jumps. I really want to get full recovery. So every single set of jump is at a higher intensity, at a high power output, working on maintaining your full explosion every single rep, then we rest. So it won't be as cardio as the aerobic plyometrics, which this one is a 70% jumping and get 20 seconds rest just to get the heart going prepare your joints for a heavier and more intense plyometrics today is the intense plyometrics in a sense that it's all out full rest got me okay this is not conditioning grab your stick first exercise still in a warm-up type but it's not really warm-up we're going all out but we're getting the feet ready. So we did that one. It's the pogo jump, where you jump with your legs slightly, almost straight. You jump and you lift your toes up. Okay, abs tight, contract your abs. We do 10 of those. We'll do two sets of these. Ready and go. One. Break, that's easy. Easy to start. Minute break. While you have your stick, let's work on our pec. A little stretching for the pec. That's good. So we'll get a few upper body stretch within our sets. So we're not being too passive, but I still want a full rest, guys. This is important. This is about power and speed the first few steps when you when you run the first few steps when you skate everybody talks about oh i want to be more i want to be faster i want to be more powerful and that's all you you guys tell me and that's this is what we're doing right now full rest full explosion good and again over your head engage your lats your arms 10 pogo jumps, two legs, and go. Step. Good. You should feel that big toe, that arch, poo, 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 power, power, step. Okay. And again, pec stretch. Breathe. So I have my heart rate monitor. I'm with 130. That's perfect. It's perfect. It's not going to be too intense. I'm still working on my, my aerobic base. I'm at 130, it's the lower end. Good. Now we'll rest a little bit longer. We'll go one leg pogo jumps. Because it's only one leg, we'll do uh, how many I said? Oh, it's still two, 10. It's still 10. But because it's one leg, there's a lot more pressure on that one foot. So make sure your ankle is stiff. You're not collapsing. You're tight. Your core is tight. You're not dropping. So that's why we're holding here, abs tight. We have, we jump on one leg and a strong piler. Okay, strong, strong piler. Ready? Ten jumps. And go.
more seconds. And guys, don't go right away. Don't. This is not cardio. Enjoy those little sessions where it's not as intense, okay? It's not intense for your, your heart and your lungs, but it is intense for your nervous system and your joints, okay? I want an all-out effort. Got me? 10 on one leg, stiff core, and go. Breathe in, breathe out, switch leg. jumping nothing much is moving now we're gonna move the full body let's stretch our lats a little bit more a couple of times on each side breathe in nice We're done with the stick. You can stick, keep it close if you wish. Now we'll do some tuck jumps. Two legs, I love the tuck jumps. On and off the ground, you're working on your hip flexor to bring your legs back up. And you should be jumping on the same spot. Try not to be moving. Your knees should be going up together simultaneously at the same time, not with one and one, okay? Tight core. 10 reps, you guys are ready? Arms are moving a little bit, and go. Yes, and a break. Oof, you have a rugby ball, and tennis ball. If you don't have any neighbors, you could be throwing here. You could be, do some juggling with three balls. Good luck with that. Or just throw one, 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 one. I'm just gonna rest and talk to you. We'll do three sets of this one. I don't know for you, but for me, I've been doing all those workouts. And if you're with me today, you I hope you've been doing all of them as well. Going up and down is like sharp, it's quick now. I'm hitting the ground, I'm bouncing. I actually feel more powerful. Okay, 10 more. Tuck jumps, two legs, and go. There you go. Full break. So as I'm doing this, my heart right now climbs up at 149. I have a minute to bring it back down. So if you do have a heart rate monitor, check your heart rate when you finish. After a few seconds, when the heart goes up, you start your timer and try to bring it down with your breathing in that minute rest. 130 would be great. I was talking and I got it at 129. We're one minute, I'm ready to go. Are you? 10 jumps. Tuck jumps and go. Good work. Heart rate check. Breathing. You can grab water at this point. If you wish, I'm just going to check on the video. We're good. 36 minutes in, almost halfway our plyometric circuit, that's good, 
Very good. It's gonna breathe in, breathe out. Okay. For the next exercise, we'll do two sets, one leg top jump. Now that's a different level. That's a bit advanced. So either you refer back to two legs top jump, or you just do a mini top jump where you don't lift as high. If you can, lift him up as high as you can. Five reps on the right, five reps on the left. You guys are ready? Stiff ankle, be ready for that one, it's aggressive. And go. Five. Okay. Breathe. Other leg. And go. Not for too long because our legs need the blood. <laughs> okay, so not as high jumps or two legs tuck jumps is still good or one leg full tuck. We'll do one more set only today. A few minutes, or not minutes, seconds. Let you know when. that is not as intense, right? One leg tuck jumps, five, and go. And again, breathe in, breathe out, focus, other leg, and go. Can you really feel that one leg being different than the other? This is the halfway point to our primary tricks. Let's take two minutes, grab some water. Just give us a, a longer break, we're in no rush, right? Still have 20 minutes. We still have 20 minutes together. I'll see how much I can do of this core circuit at the end. Okay, next we're working on leaping forward and back. Okay, so we go as far as we can. Forward, back, forward, back. And here we're trying to keep our knees straight. We can't, our front, our, our heel won't touch the ground probably, so we're just pushing right back. When we're at the back, let's try not to stall. Push back right, push with, push right back. Boom, 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 boom. Sometimes we're a little bit slower here, okay? So we'll do five on right and five on left. We'll take two, three breaths in between each legs. So forward and back, ready, go. Switch sides and go. Yes, minute break. All right, let's check the heart rate. 150, 153. Woo! Let's bring it down. 155 to bring it down.
good. I have a 130 a minute break. I dropped by 25 in a minute. That's pretty good. Okay. You want to be able to drop by 30 beats in a minute rest. That would be amazing. Okay. This you need to breathe. Okay. One leg there and back. Five. Ready. Go. There and back, other leg, and go. One, two, three, four, five. Whew. Now we go. Let's check that heart rate. So we do two of these. So I like to work in multi-directions for this phase of training. We do some double leg bilateral jumping. I really like the single leg back and forth, which is very good for injury prevention, but also quick change of direction. So that's it, that's why we're doing this. We'll do two sets of the 45 and back. 45 and back. I'm staying square and back. Okay, there and back, five, five, and we're good to go. Ready, go. Three deep breaths. Let's try to breathe when we jump. It's important to be stiff but get some breathing in there. This side, ready, go. How much better with the breathing? A minute break. Check here. 44 minutes. Uh, one more set of that one. I repeat, this is really important stuff. This is what you can do to be more explosive, to be faster. Please do this workout. Full intensity. 45 there and back. Five. And go. getting tired. 
tired. I feel that power is not there as, well, as much as I'd like to. But I'm only not your age, eh? To <laughs> be a bit older than you guys. Still love it. We have to stick. We have three more sets to do. Five reps on each leg. I want those last sets. Now you dig deep, guys. I want the quality. I want you to think about power, explosion, being explosive. Give it all, give it all. Work your mental toughness right now. Ready? Five each, go. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, well done. Minute break. Now we're talking. Heart rate, 152. So, still working on my cardio. Ooh, every single day I'm working on cardio. Now, split squat jump. Uh, sorry, I, I, I said five reps, we'll do three reps each leg. Just continuous, boom, 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 boom. I wrote down three because I think we need to do, to do three in order to be explosive on all three. If we were to do five, we're missing a bit of explosion in the last two reps. And I want to teach your brain to be explosive. So we do three each or six total. We go back and forth, one leg to the next. Jump for maximum power. You guys are ready. It's going to look like this. I'm going to do my set. Get with it. Ready, arms swing at the same time. Both arms can do this. And three each, and go. Two, three, three, absorb. Well done. One more set. Fifty minutes. Good stuff, good stuff. to this. 20 more seconds to the last exercise. On and off the ground. Jump. Load and load power. Three on the right, three on the left. Done for plyo. Okay, you guys are ready? And go! time. Good. Okay, just a bit of core to finish. Just act as a little bit of a cool down as well. I want to touch the core a little bit today. So it's going to be a little bit on all four, but it's called the bear where your knees are off the ground. My back is flat, my hands are open, my elbow is under my shoulder, or sorry, wrist under shoulder, knees under hips, contract, tilt your hips forward, I want to see your buckle being here, not down here, and then off the ground, you're going to touch your foot, touch your foot, touch your foot, touch your foot, okay? 10 each, you touch and maintain contact for one second. 10 each, ready? Two, one, go. Stay, 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 stay
Stay straight, two. So our heart is pumping, so this act as a little bit of a flush, as well as working your core and your shoulder stability. The shoulders are moving, hips are moving. Amazing, amazing. Next one is the crab to toe touch, hands here, lift, touch, lift, oops, touch, 10 each, ready, bump up, and go, opposite, oops, <laughs> two, focus, two, hold, three, stabilize, four, Okay, bear to toe touch, open your fingers, full hand on the ground, and lift, 10 each, and go. Don't spill the soup on your back. Two, oops, hold two, three, three, four, four, five, Bring that knee up and across. Touch the feet, the foot. Seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. Twenty seconds. Almost done. We're stretching after this. Two, two, three, 
but my heart rate is at 166, which is high. Breathe. Last one. Crab to toe touch. Hands on the side. Ready? If your hands are wet like me, slippy. And up and touch. One. Slowly. Touch. Two. Two. Three. Hold. Three. Four. Hold one second. Four. Yes. We'll stretch four stretches to lower to upper before you go. Let's bring that chair closer. Okay. Go. Ah. Oh. First, we're going to do the 90 90. We did that a few workouts ago. So, both legs straight. Remember, I'm gonna bring this leg 90 degrees. So I have one leg here, one leg with the parallel with the mat. The front leg, now I bent. So if, I, if my hips are square to you, my shoulders, this segment is straight and this segment is in the cross, 90 degrees here. I have 90 degrees here, so those two segments are parallel, and 90 degree right here. So it's a more than a 90-90. It's 90, 90, 90. 90. <laughs> Three nineties. Now you're gonna lean forward, place your hand, be nice and tall. We're gonna go straight in front of you. Every position will be three deep breath. So you wanna be tall. I don't want you here. The more you can, as if I'm pulling you here, the more stretch you'll feel, right? Okay, as you get deeper, you can play side to side and stretch more. But breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Now it's time to relax, okay? Okay, three deep breath, breathe in. Out. Stay in the tension, not in the pain. Breathe in. Out. Go further in your stretch. In. Out. Very nice. Now place your hands, so you're gonna be chest right over your knee and I'm at a 45 degree angle here, nothing else has moved. Lean forward a bit, tall, breathe in. And out. Mm. 
in and out. In and out. Very nice. Turn completely if you can, as far as you can, but now my hands are facing straight there. And we're gonna go down here, sing long. Three deep breaths, ready? Relax, in. Bring your hands forward, make yourself comfortable in. Out. In. Excellent. Super. Other side. Starting to relax. Straight leg. Then this one. So I have a 90 here. Now this is parallel. 90 90. Move forward. Stay tall. Three deep breaths. Ready? Relax and go. Fill your belly. Super, 45 degree angle. Turning that torso, I feel a little bit of a stretch here in my low back. It's personal, nice lean forward. Three deep breath and go. In. And out. In and out. Excellent. Last position. Turn fully. Move your hands forward a bit and go. Great, great, great. Now, bend everything. I mean, fold everything or grab a bigger cushion. We're gonna do quad hip flexor stretch on the chair. If you wish, you can grab your stick and hold. Okay. One knee down. Just in the tension, five deep breath. Here we go, close your eyes, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Abs tight, go deeper in your stretch. Super switch side. 
Excellent. Now we'll stretch our pecs. I know we haven't done the pecs, but the pecs get really tight. So on the wall, a little bit of an angle here, full hand, open, same leg is moving forward, feel the stretch, not the pain, just a stretch, turn your head. So about 30 seconds or five deep breaths. Here we go, breathe in, try to breathe in through your pec. Sides, good work. A little bit of a bend, open hands, and rotate. Breathe in. As I breathe in, at the end, I try to expand. Breathe in under your pec to stretch it all. Now the last stretch, once again, stretching your last group, relax, open your chest, relax your neck. We go thumbs down, try the door frame, go in a door frame right now. You're going to have your feet in front, your bum is a bit behind, I'm hanging, and I can rotate in a bit, and now I'm going to breathe in, expand that rib cage where your lats are. Breathe in. Five deep Here we go guys, so 60 minutes of work, 13 minutes of stretch, feel great, I wish you a great day, see you tomorrow maybe, bye guys!